pushing up, pulling down, pushing up, pulling down, pushing up. I would say 300. Pulling down, pushing up, pulling down, pushing up. Shut up! Fucking rooster. Pushing up. Pulling down. Pushing up. Pulling down. Pushing up. Shut the fuck up. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna chase that rooster away. It wasn't the rooster, it was a chicken making an egg, I guess that was a good thing, but he should do it quiet. Alright, one more take. I shouldn't turn, trying not to uh, turn the spindle. Pulling, uh, pulling up. Oh. Yeah, I moved. I moved the uh, base. Pushing down, pulling up, oh no. pulling down, pushing up. <sighs> I guess I should uh, use the chuck and uh, a stick of wood for some leverage. Let's try that. Walking around the tripod. Ah, and now I can. And now I hear a plane. I guess uh, that shit resumed after the Corona break. There's a flight route above the uh, old barn and especially at night when I'm here you can hear the planes going by on a silent day rather annoying it's annoying to me but you don't hear it on camera hardly ever I guess I should worry about other things
Och här har du Chucky. Chucky. Chickens. Hardly to believe that we got 15 more little chicks. That's going to be annoying when the roosters get old. I guess my neighbor is going to get some chicken soup. I don't like chicken. I'm not uh, big on the taste. Besides, chickens are cool. If you don't like chickens, there's something wrong with you. I just hate roosters. A speed chuck, maybe that's an idea for a video. Haha, <laughs> I still messed that up. Ah! This is good old American oak. Don't uh, ask me the difference with uh, well, local oak. What's the name? Indigenous oak. I think this grows a little faster. Just like Americans. They like big. They're big on big. Yeah, that's not going to work. Frame to the shot, pushing down and now pulling up. That's a little more than a tenth of a millimeter. That's probably too much. Unfortunately, I cannot really look this up in any uh, well manual. Don't worry, I'm sure if I get stuck between the headstock and the pulley, the motor will stall out. No problem there. Besides, the switch is right there. You know what, um, let's unlock the uh, spindle, slide it forward and uh, check again, see how much uh, play I get uh, that time.
take off the belt. That's better. That is as far as it can slide forward. But this is probably closer to the maximum I got uh, to the maximum uh, position uh, I reached when threading. Unfortunately, I cannot work the spindle. And of course, stupid stand. This here unscrewed itself. So that got me screwed. Oh, let me get some pliers. And now there's a fucking tractor. Who drives a tractor on Sunday? That's not polite. Well, that will have to do. It's pretty much in the same position. And that is well, there's some spring in this thing. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not bothered about absolute zero. Okay, pushing it down. Not too hard. A little harder. Almost a tent. Pushing it up. Two tent. So, that's a uh, three tent uh, of a millimeter deviation. And you can pick that up easily on the camera with a uh, camera on a tripod. You can probably see it without uh, the camera on the tripod. Shut up! Bastard. Alright. This definitely helps a little, not a whole lot, and my fingers do get a little warm. 
but the vibration is less. Well, the vibration is not gone when I push down the belt, but it is less pronounced. So I still think that the uh, mounting position or the way the, mo the motor is mounted to this lathe plays a role in the vibration. Although there is more play in the spindle than uh, I thought there would be. Definitely a lot more. A professional regrind would definitely benefit this lathe. But it's probably not worth it.